Hello and welcome to Chem 3A. I uh, just wanted to make a little video here to help you uh, get around as we're getting started. Um, so this is the home page you should see when you first log into our, our website here. Um, here's a picture of me. Um, my name is Jody Kawagoa, but most of my students call me Mrs. K. Uh, this is my cell phone number. You can text me any time of the day or night, but only text me. Please do not call me. If you need to talk to me for some reason, you can send me a text and I'll call you back. Um, for email, I prefer that you email me through Canvas. Uh, that way your emails don't get lost in the rest of the email jungle. So here is um, a starting place there's a link to the syllabus here, which you can also get over here. Um, here's the student support hub, which if you haven't seen this, this is kind of cool. Um, lots of good links there. And right here in the middle, where it says get started here, is the course modules. So you'll want to click on that, and that'll take you to uh, the course modules page. So a lot of this is grayed out, don't worry about that. Come up here where it says start here. Click on that. And here is a long letter that I've written you. Um, I'll let you read that. You get to the bottom of this and over here in the bottom right. We're going to click next and that'll take us to the next page in the module. This is online student readiness. Um, you have been an automatically enrolled in a quest for online success course, and I would highly encourage you to go ahead and take that course. It's going to help you out a lot as you take this online course. We're going to go down here and hit next again. Um, this is a link uh, to Passport to Canvas. This is a student orientation. So if you have not used Canvas in the past or don't know how to use it very well, this is where you can learn how to be a pro. And because this is an online class, you're going to need to know how to navigate around in Canvas. So again, we're going to come over here. The next button is up here now, and we're going to click on that again. Um, this is a useful page, Canvas Help for Students. tells you where you can get some help. And then I've put these two uh, video links in here because these are things that you will need to know how to do, submit assignments, and uh, deal with discussions. And so these are videos. You just click on them, and they'll give you instruction. And come down here next again. So I've tried to set this class up so that you can just go through the module pages one after the other by clicking the next button. Um, this page here gives us a discussion. Um, they're calling it Cyber Cafe for Students. And this is a place where you can interact with the other students in the course. So you can just type a reply or a post in here, and um, I will be able to see what you guys are talking about and other students, but nobody else. And so um, I'll be popping in once in a while uh, to see that everything's going okay. Um, I'd also encourage you to read these netiquette guidelines, um, just so that we're all on the same page of what sort of behavior is acceptable. So I'm gonna click next again. Um, here I've written out some instructions for paper homework. So I'm giving you an option. Uh, you can do paper homework. That's old-fashioned. Find the problem in the book. Write the answers down on a piece of paper kind of homework. Or you can use Mastering Chemistry, which is the online chemistry homework program, and that there's a cost involved with that. Um, if you want to use Mastering Chemistry, um, please contact me by text or email and I'll get you hooked up with that. Um, but these are instructions here. Um, I've got a link here for uh, how to save pictures as a PDF because if you're doing this on paper, we need to submit it online. Uh, we're not gonna use snail mail. 
Um, so we need to take our pictures and turn them into a PDF, so that tells you how to do that. Got some tips here for taking good pictures. Um, and then I've got a couple of examples. Uh, this is an example of a good enough uh, homework submission. I'm not expecting perfect handwriting, but I need to be able to read it. Uh, down here, this is someone who took the picture at a distance, at an angle, and some of the numbers are cut off. That's not cool. Um, this person did their homework on a tablet, which I am absolutely fine with. But because they didn't have any lines or grids, they zoomed in and out, and some things are kind of big, and some things are super, super tiny. And there's three columns of text, and that just is really tough for me to figure out what you're doing. So those are things not to do. Um, go, Be sure to read the instructions up here. So I'm going to hit next again. And now I'm into introduction to unit one. So if we want to see where we are in the modules, uh, we can click this module button. And now I can see here that I have um, gone through this course information module and I've got green checks over here. So that's kind of nice. I've set these modules up so that you need to go through them in order. So you need to go just look at all of the pages up here before it'll let you go into uh, unit one. There's four units. This first one covers four chapters. We can see here the prerequisite for this unit is the course information unit. So we needed to complete those things before we could get in here. So this is back to where we were, introduction to unit one. Um, you can read that. I, I would like to point out there's a survey here at the bottom. This survey counts as your first day attendance. So I need you to take the survey by Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Um, people who haven't done it by then and have not contacted me at all, I'm going to drop you and that way you get a refund on your fees. So you can click over here to get to the, the survey or you can click down here. And it says here, take the survey. So we're going to be having some discussions about how chemistry relates to real life. Um, and so I've got a selection of topics here. These are all um, covered briefly in the textbook. And I'd like to choose one of these for Unit 1, but I can't make a decision. So what I'm asking is for you to choose the three topics that are most interesting to you. So look through these, and you might say, well, getting energy out of nothing, well, that's kind of interesting. Ooh, satellites, I like that. Um, drugs, mm, ew, coolers, coolers and camping, like that. So click, click on three, hit submit quiz, and you just earned yourself three points. Okay, so that's cool. You have to finish the survey before you can go on to the next thing. I'm going to click Next, and here we have Preview of Chapter 1. So each chapter is going to have a preview page. You've got your learning objectives. Um, here are links for the PowerPoint slides, PowerPoint handouts. Um, so some students like to have access to those, and then also a list of assignments. Um, that's just kind of telling us what's coming up. There's not really anything to do here. So now we're going to get into the um, regular part. So this is the first section of the first chapter. And as I say in the letter I wrote you, um, I really want you to do this first chapter one module, go through it in order, and do all the pages. So learning chemistry can be um, a lot of work, and so I've tried to break it down into small pieces for you. So we're just going to take one section of the textbook at a time. So here, read the section in your textbook. It's short, a couple pages maybe, at the most. Um, and then I've written some stuff to you here. 
Okay, so read that. And then watch the lecture video. So here, I click on this. I'll get this up. Okay, so these are my lecture videos from a face-to-face -face class I did in the summer of 2018, so two years ago. Same textbook, the chemistry hasn't changed. So um, this is what you would get if you were sitting in my actual classroom and looking at the screen and not at me. So you'll hear me talking and you'll see me pointing to stuff, kind of like I'm doing right now. So you can watch the lecture videos. You see this one's four minutes. Um, there's closed captioning available. If you want to do it a little faster, you can change the playback speed. Uh, some of these lectures are a little boring. Um, so if you want to go up to like one and a half, uh, you can even go as far as twice the speed. For some of it, that's going to be just fine. You can, you know, I'm just talking. If I get to problems, though, um, doing some math stuff, you'll probably want to go back to the normal speed. But you can get through it a little faster that way. So watch the video, and then read the book again. Okay? So we're going to pretend that I've done that. To be able to move on, we need to scroll back up and hit this Mark as Done button. So I'm having you mark it as done so that if you're just popping around and looking at different pages, you won't, um, you won't have to wonder, well, which ones did I actually finish? So this one's marked as done, and now I can click Next and go on to the next section. So this one, you're going to read section 1.2 and watch a little video lecture of 1.2 and then read it again and then click Mark as Done, and then click Next. And so we need to go through um, this whole chapter this way, and I'm introducing you to some things in the textbook. Um, so here's our first learning objective for this chapter. Here is um, one of the uh, discussion topics. So you really should read that. These are practical applications of chemistry and they help you to see how it's more relevant to your life. So I want you to read that. I'm not gonna test you on it, but we're gonna pick the favorite topic, the most interesting of all of you, and we're gonna be having a discussion about that. So then you go watch the lecture, read it again. The second time through, now that we're getting into something a little more in depth, there's going to be a conceptual checkpoint, which is a question. Um, and you should definitely answer that question the second time through. If you don't know what to do, you might need to look through the section again. And write your answer down, don't just keep it in your head, and then check your answer. The, uh, the answers are given at the end of the chapter make sure that you are correct. If you're correct, move on. If your answer was wrong, reread uh, the section and try to figure it out. If you have questions, please ask me. You can text me, literally, anytime. You can text me at 3 a.m. Sometimes I'm awake then, and I'll actually reply to you. If I'm asleep, your text is not gonna bother me, okay? All I ask is that the first time you text me, please tell me who you are. Um, I'll put your name in my contact list, and that way the next time you text me, I'll know who you are. Um, you can also send me a, an email message through Canvas, but that does not get as fast a response. And then, this is a new thing compared to the other sections, do it. Do the homework. Um, so here's a little bit of information about the homework. Um, we already read about the instructions for paper homework, and this is now telling us what problems to do. You'll see here um, in this table, we've got three diff oh, sorry, four, I can't count, four different text editions, um, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. The sixth is the newest. 
Um, and over here are the homework problems. Now for this chapter, it happens to be the exact same numbers, but in other chapters they're gonna be different. So if you have a fourth edition of the textbook, you're gonna find the fourth edition row and you're gonna do those two questions. And then here again, ask about it. So there's my phone number again, big, really big. Store that in your phone. Um, so read this, I really, really want you to text me. One of the things I've really missed um, in the last four weeks since the spring semester ended, nobody's texting me. I'm just like all alone at home and sad and lonely. So I love it when students text me because it makes me feel popular, okay? So please, you know, just give my ego a little bit of a boost and give me a text. Okay, next, um, next section, um, here we go analyzing and interpreting data and it says this is part of module and it hasn't been unlocked yet and we're like oh what happened I forgot to mark it as done so this section I must mark as done so we'll go back there because I forgot to do that mark as done now we'll go on to next and it'll let us see the page I'd like to say I did that on purpose to illustrate it, but I just forgot. Um, again, we've got this theme. Read it, watch it, read it again, do it, ask about it. And so that's the pattern for all of these sections. Here we've got, um, this section has an example in it. Um, then there's also a skill builder so the skill builders are typically the examples that I do in my lecture. The example here is, is in the textbook and the solution is written out. Um, the skill builder is another problem for you to do. Um, the answer is given uh, later in the chapter, but it doesn't show you how to do it. But I show you how to do it in the video. And then sometimes there's for more practice, um, and that will list out some homework problems that have the same topic as the example. You should make use of these tools within the textbook and work through those on your own. If you do the figuring out right when you're listening and watching to it, it's going to be a lot easier than if you try to blow through and, and do all the watching and reading and then try to come back and do the homework. That's going to be harder. So try to work through those and do that before you go on to doing the homework. Um, so here again we have homework assignment, um, problems for each edition, and then ask it. Now this time I'm going to remember to mark as done. Next. Um, another section. This one doesn't have any homework, but we should still read it and watch the video. Mark as done. Okay, so that was the last section, and here is the homework assignment. Now, if you were actually doing stuff as you went along, um, you'll already have this done. But here, all of the problems for the chapter are listed for each of the sections. Um, that's interesting. I'll have to check on that. This one right here is different. I think I maybe mistyped that. Um, so you'll, you'll write these answers out on a piece of paper, um, take a picture of it, make it into a PDF, and submit it. So to submit the assignment, I'm going to click on Submit Assignment. And come down here and it's going to ask me to upload a file so I'll pick choose file and um, I didn't do the homework I'm just gonna pick this it has to be a PDF file and then I'm gonna you can write me a comment if you need to and then click submit assignment when that happens up here in the corner it says submitted it tells you when um, you can look at the details, um, 
and download the file if you want. It's also possible to resubmit an assignment. I'm going to mark this as done. And moving on. At the end of each chapter, there'll be a review page, um, a turn it in reminder, listing all the things that need to be turned in, review it. Um, there's a nice review of principles and skills at the end of the chapter. You should read through that. Um, that's also a really great quick reference guide when you're taking an exam or a quiz. The newer editions of the textbook have a self-assessment quiz at the end. A multiple choice quiz, that's like a study guide, so you should take that. Show your work, write down your answers. Yes, you could, um, well, use your calculator in your brain. Don't use Google, Quizlet, or Chegg. Okay, obviously you could do that, but you're not getting points for this self-assessment quiz. You're, you're trying to assess whether you've learned the material. So just do it yourself. If you get stuck, go back and look at the chapter review. And then when you're done, grade your quiz. You probably will make some mistakes. Mistakes are learning opportunities. So go back over those questions that you got wrong. Try to identify your mistakes. Study the related section in the text. Now that part here, going over it and trying to figure it out, might take 15 minutes, maybe as long as half an hour. I wouldn't struggle with it any longer than that. If you've really tried and you can't figure it out, please text me. I sometimes hear from a student, oh, it took me three hours to do this homework problem last night. And I just cringe because I don't want it to take that long. If you need help, just send me a text. Okay, so we'll mark this as done so that we can move on. And now we're into chapter two. Um, so in chapter two, I took off the restriction of going through in order. So if I hop back here to modules, you can collapse these if they're in your way. And let's say I was really behind and I didn't have time to read the chapter or anything, but I saw on the schedule that we were supposed to do an experiment. And so I'm just going to go look at the experiment. These chapters will let you do that. Um, for these experiments, these are all going to be online experiments because we're 100% online thanks to COVID-19. Um, so here are instructions. Um, download the report, watch the video. Many of these videos star my husband, Dr. Kirk Kawagoa. That's not me, um, but he does a great job. And so he's going to do the experiment, and then you're going to watch and fill out the data and answer the questions and stuff. Um, at the bottom of assignments is a grading rubric that helps you to know, well, what am I getting points for? What's she going to take points off for, etc. And so go ahead and look at that. Again, you can jump around the modules. So you can jump around within chapter two. You can't go on to chapter three until you finish chapter two. So that got a little longer than I expected, but um, hopefully that will help you get started. You can always find the syllabus up here by just clicking on the syllabus. You definitely should read the syllabus information about required books, how to contact me. Um, this part in yellow is really important. So this is an online class and attendance will be monitored by participation in discussions and turning in assignments. So as I mentioned earlier, this vote for unit one discussion topics, I'm gonna use your participation in that as the first day attendance marker. So if you don't take the survey, by 6 p.m. on Tuesday and you don't contact me 
about some issue you've got, I'm going to drop you. Um, there's another drop date coming up. Um, so June, June 23rd is the last day to drop the class and be eligible for a fee refund. And yes, that is the second day of our six week session. Friday of the first week is the last day to drop without a W. So come Friday, if you have not turned in at least three of the five total assignments, I might also drop you. Um, if you have some unusual circumstances going on, um, please just contact me before Friday and then we can work out a plan to help you catch up. But otherwise I might possibly drop you. Um, as you know, if you were trying to register for this class earlier this summer, um, it was full and the wait list was full and it was so full that they actually added another section. That section is also full and has a wait list. So there are lots of people trying to get into the class. Um, so please demonstrate to me that you're serious by participating right away. So you can go through and read the rest of this, um, all about what we're gonna be doing, my late work policy. Um, and then down here is a course summary. So this is a list of assignments. So that's one place you can see what needs to be done. Um, if you go to the home page, you'll see a to-do list over here, and this will list the assignments coming up. Um, so the first one, um, well, I already did the first two, right? I submitted chapter one homework and I did the survey. The next one would be chapter two. So I can see um, what I need to do here. I can also view the course calendar and so this shows me in a calendar form. If you want to see the whole class on one page, you can click on this course roadmap. This is the way I'm accustomed to looking at the semester. Um, this is what I would have. This is very bare bones, but this is how I, I planned out our semester. So if you want to look at that, you're welcome to. Here's, um, you know, if we were having actual lecture periods, this is what I'd be talking about. Um, actual lab periods, that's what we'd be doing in lab. Um, this top line is what uh, what's due that day. So that is a helpful thing as well. So um, make sure to do that survey um, and contact me if you have any questions at all. I'll talk to you again soon.